Hey guys, Blazin here, and look, I'm making a Halo Infinite video. See, nobody cares. So, I figured I'd make a Halo Infinite video since it's literally been exactly one year since this game came out. And also, on top of that, it's Halo's birthday, so now it's, what, it's 21 years old? So, uh, happy birthday, Halo CE. Thanks for the solid campaign and fun multiplayer that had split screen. Moving on. It's been about one week since the winter update came out and I thought I'd give some of my quick thoughts on it. And I'm also going to ask a pretty big question that's going to, well, sort of dictate where this channel is going to go next. So to start off with the winter update, so far it's, uh, it's alright. I mean... The way how I look at the winter update is that this update is just shit we should have gotten literally a year ago. Like, this is how the game should have launched. Features like campaign co-op and mission replay are nothing new. It's just shit that should have been there in the first place. I'm not gonna praise 343 for, for stuff we should have, you know, we should have had to begin with. I do hope some at some point in the future that they can revert their decision on canceling split screen. Uh, Forge is cool. Uh, I'm glad we got it, and the maps are, are like the the canvases are definitely like twice as big than uh, Halo 5, so they weren't bullshitting there. However, what 343 never told us was the real reason why th the Forge was in beta, in air quotes. And it wasn't until like later, right before the winter update came out, was when they released a blog post, and then they detailed, oh yeah, by the way, you you can't forge on dev maps. Which, in the grand scheme of things, isn't that big of a deal, as most people are going to be forging on the empty canvases anyways, but that's still pretty stupid. On top of that, the winter update, when it launched, didn't have the smoothest launch, as basically a lot of people kept crashing, including myself. Uh, I was only, like, day one during the winter update, I was only able to load on the pre-made forge maps on 343 made, which were Detachment Argyle, which I'll get to, and anytime I tried to load into the forge canvases, I crashed like three times. No, I didn't crash three times. I just couldn't load in. I, I couldn't load into the maps, so that was frustrating. Also, on top of that, the fact that Forge is online again, like really? Uh, well, that, that, that's modern gaming, I guess. Everything's got to be online, including Forge. I remember when that shit used to be offline. Uh, another small issue I had with Forge was that when I was trying to uh, connect objects together, sometimes the magnetisms or the magnets did not like function well, or sometimes it disappeared or they just didn't work. So that, that's a minor issue. This feature is literally a year late, but hey, I'm glad it's here, and uh, this is definitely going to keep the game alive for a much longer period of time. And when the population gets lower again, it probably won't be as low as it was in the past. Now as far as the other two Forge maps that 343 made themselves, so let's start with Argyle. Uh, from what I hear, I heard it's absolute shit, and I can't believe they even put it in competitive. There's two barrels down there, and uh, the amount of weapons on, and, or like, not just weapons, but pickups in general on the map is actually absurd. So I don't know who the hell thought to make it a competitive map and like put it in like, well, ranked. Because just just by playing it, a uh, few, I didn't never played it in ranked, but I did play it in social, and just by playing it in social, I'm just like, this is not a competitive map at all. It's fine in social, but not competitive. If anything, Detachment, the other Forge map, is probably a better competitive map than Argyle. Like, what the... F who, who the fuck... Th <sighs> when 343 first showed off those two Forge maps, I thought it was gonna be the opposite. I thought I was gonna like Argyle and maybe not like Detachment, but no, the opposite. I like Detachment and I don't really like Argyle. Along with the winter update, we got weapon sandbox adjustments and snap slides were supposed to be removed, but they didn't. And then Unishark on Twitter said he, they were going to remove it. Uh, I feel like I can talk about these two topics in like two separate videos, so I'll just leave it at that. I hear custom games has been working pretty good for people, which is actually the thing I expected to make people pissed off in this update. And uh, you know what? I'm glad to be proven wrong. Uh, so far from what I hear, custom games seems to be working pretty well. I don't know if 343 made any attempt to fix it, but hey, I'm glad to be proven wrong. For once. Then we have the Match XP Beta. Which, uh, I mean, <laughs> this is just a joke. I mean, I, uh, hey, we, we got it. I mean, I don't, I don't even know what to say about this. It, it, match XP beta, hooray. 
in Halo Infinite's case, is this a pretty big deal? And I'm glad this came in, but at the same time, I was like, this is just so stupid. This is, oh my god. This is, uh, <laughs> again, I don't even know what to say about it. It's just kind of cringe. I don't know. A match XP beta. I've never even heard that for any other game, I swear. And I think that's pretty much everything with the winter update. So overall, I mean, the uh, theater is still busted. The servers are still shitty. And uh, we're still waiting for cross-core customization. Because so far we only got visors. Yeah. Oh, and those poor competitive players are gonna have to wait for Forge to get updated so they can forge on the dev-made maps. <laughs> well, looks like competitive players are gonna have to keep GAing the Mangler and Energy Sword. Oh, I guess I can talk about the challenge system, battle pass, and I guess the store. So the battle pass is just a free 30 tier battle pass of Halo Reach stuff, which, I mean, hey, it's free. So, uh, I mean, I got nothing else to say about that. At least it's free, so everybody can just play it. Uh, the next thing to talk about is the challenges, which are much better. I mean, you no longer have to play anything specific. You can basically now play with, uh, whatever the hell you want. What a revolutionary idea. Uh, the next thing to talk about is the store, which thankfully the store got dailies back because for basically since season two launch, we got like no dailies. I'm pretty sure they did that to extend the content on purpose. And the weekly challenges are just going to be repeats of season one and two, which uh, is kind of shitty, but at the same time, I don't care. Alright, so now that's pretty much the winter update overall. I mean, like I said in the beginning, uh, all this is just shit that should, like it should have been this way to begin with. I'm not going to praise 343 for basic ass features we should have gotten to begin with. And when I say basic, I don't mean in a literal sense, I mean basic as in like, this is just stuff we should expect from a Halo game. The competitive scene has been carrying this game basically all year. There was basically almost no reason for casual players to stick around and play this game. There, there are definitely other games like better to play. However, now with this winter update with Forged, Campaign Co-op shit, and you know, custom games will now get more of a use besides just custom 8. Uh, now there's a reason for casuals to stick around and play, so this is a net positive. This update was never meant to save the game. If you think that, then I think you're delusional. However, this update is a step in the right direction. Coming March 7 with Season 3, in my opinion, is the true relaunch of the game. And we'll see where we're at till then. And even then, I don't think Season 3 will exactly save the game, but it'll definitely be like a better start than what this winter update is. In my opinion, the true saving grace that still has a chance of saving this game is the Battle Royale mode that's, that uh, certain Fidity is working on. So Season 3, in my eyes, is the true reset button, while the certain Affinity Battle Royale will be the true test and see if it really brings people back to this game. Alright, so those are my thoughts on the winter update and the potential future of Halo Infinite. Now moving on to more personal news on this channel. When I first started this channel, this was supposed to be a Halo Infinite dedicated channel. And my Twitch was supposed to be, well, just a general thing that I do where I can play any video game I want. But again, we all know Halo Infinite launched, it launched like shit. And of course, I had to make some changes. Well, now that it's been a year, we got this update, and I'm going to ask you guys now the big question. Do you guys want me to make Halo Infinite content on this YouTube channel again? Because I have no problem making content on this game again. It's just a matter of if you guys want it. I've made videos on this game in the past. Uh, you can go and look at my YouTube channel and look at my previous videos. And I don't want to make Halo Infinite content if it's not going to get the support. If you really want me to make Halo Infinite videos again, then I'm going to have to ask something from you. Now, I normally don't ask anything from my viewers as, you know, you guys can do whatever the hell you want. But if you really want me to make Halo Infinite content again, then I request 100 likes on this video. So from the time this video gets uploaded and two weeks from now, if this hits 100 likes, then I will continue to make Halo Infinite content. And if this video doesn't reach 100 likes within two weeks, well, that's fine with me too. Uh, I'm enjoying making content on Halo Reach weapons at the moment, and, you know, I'm just gonna keep doing that. And, well, basically anything else that's not Halo Infinite. And don't worry, I haven't forgotten about Barotrauma. I am committed to finishing that game, and I do want to get to the Doomworm. 
which I should also mention just in case, uh, just because if let's say if the 100 likes uh, threshold gets met within two weeks, that doesn't mean I'm going to forget about Barotrauma. Uh, that's always going to be around, at least till I finish the game. And I think that's going to do it for this video, so uh, again, if you want to see me make Halo Infinite content, 100 likes within two weeks on this video, that's up to you. Uh, I've got a Halo Reach Assault Rifle Analysis coming this Friday. Check my links down in the description. And until next time, peace.